Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today we're going to be showing you HTML5 boilerplate. And this isn't going to be getting into everything about HTML5 boilerplate, but what it's intended to do is to show you uh, why you would use it. And essentially, HTML5 boilerplate gives you a lot of stuff to start out with, and a great way to start building your HTML5 site without starting from scratch. So let's see exactly what it contains. Well, it contains a Google Analytics snippet, which is nice because I, I don't know how many how many times you do a project without Google Analytics at this point. It's really something that's a necessity. And it comes with normalize.css. And normalize, uh, it used to come with the reset, CSS reset, but uh, normalize has become sort of the new reset, I guess. People are using normalize because what it's doing is it's giving you cross-browser consistency, and I would recommend reading more about it. You can always click on this link right here and get this information. Um, but yeah, it even gives a normalized first reset. So it includes normalize. It also includes jQuery using Google CDN, and I think it's on version 9, uh, 1.9 something right now. In fact, we could see the change log of HTML5 boilerplate. It's using 191. So this is also great because they're hosted on GitHub. You can see their change log and what they've updated. Now their uh, the last update was in April 8th, two, uh, 2013. So that was just last month at the time of creating this video. It also includes Modernizer. And if you haven't used Modernizer yet, it's something you want to get on. Modernizer is really uh, basically just a utility that's going to be adding classes to your site that tell you what uh, they support. So instead of keying off of what browser you're using, you're keying off of what feature your browser supports. So that way, if the browser doesn't support, you know, drop shadow, you can write a, you know, a proper fallback for it, whichever way you want to. It looks like the site's taking a little bit of time to load, but here it is. Uh, Modernizer is a great tool. It's done by a lot of the same people as HTML5 boilerplate. So um, it's another utility that I use really on every project. And what's great about Modernizer is that it actually includes the HTML5 shiv for you. So you don't have to go and get that. Uh, and I know we just talked about that. You can actually even configure your own production build and with the stuff you want on it and the stuff you don't. However, this just includes um, just Modernizer to feature detection. There's also a build script and stuff. However, we're not gonna get into that too much. So what you're going to want to do is you just click this big download button and get yourself some HTML5 boilerplate and we're going to throw it into our project and you can see what it contains. So many of my projects actually start off with me just getting HTML5 boilerplate in some way. Uh, so whether that's um, whether that's getting it from you know a package manager or getting it with some sort of um, project startup tool or something like that. It's it's always starting with HTML5 boilerplate. So I've thrown this into Sublime Text and you can see exactly what it comes with. It comes with a whole lot of stuff. Um, it even comes with icons that are used for Apple's iPod Touch or their iPhone so that when you have a bookmark on this page it has an icon and everything. Um, it also has a 32 by 32 size favicon for retina displays and uh, it's, it, it comes with your folders even though they're not populated like your image and um, your .js has your plugins main also has vendor which includes a local copy of jQuery and a local copy of modernizer and let's click here we can actually see some of the stuff uh, this is the HT access file that comes with it um, it comes with a 404 page um, these are icons that's where they're showing up as and let's go to this humans.txt, which I think is a really great idea. You know how you can give crawl settings in robots.txt? Humans.txt is for humans to look at. So that way, if you're on a, a site and you want to see a little bit more about the site itself, you could just type in slash humans.txt. Then you get the thanks, you get uh, you know what technology they're using, the team. And it's a really great idea. In fact, I think usually when I go to a site, and I see they're using humans.txt. I'm like, wow, okay, these guys are, these guys are with it, and it's really helpful. It helps you learn a lot about the project. 
So let's check out the index file. And then in here you can see it includes our doc type HTML. It's giving classes to our body based on what version of IE it is. Um, and it's basically giving us everything we need to start our project out. It's letting you know to where to place the favicon. Gives you normalize.css and also gives you main.css, which just has some uh, base styles you can see here, including this uh, selection color. And uh, basically, you can read the notes here exactly why they made these choices, but it's really nice that they offer these little styles here, and they even have some basic mobile first media queries, which is very helpful when getting a project started. And it also has some good print style stuff. So next we have basically, if you're on this old version of IE, it's gonna give you this Chrome frame notice that's gonna allow your users to install this Chrome frame plugin that lets the browser use more modern features, which is a great thing. And then we have basically just a paragraph that says, hello world, and then we're loading Google's version of jQuery. Uh, well, there are Google's hosted version of jQuery, and then with a backup of our own that's in the vendor folder, our plugins.js, our main.js, which both have nothing in them. However, we want to put our plugins in here and our JavaScript or jQuery code in here. And then we have Google Analytics at the bottom where we're going to want to put our site ID. Um, so this is really it. It's not a ton of stuff, but it's really, really helpful. You can... You can also check out their readme if you want to see some more features or just a little bit more about it here. But this is HTML5 boilerplate. I use it constantly and I you know it's as it's, it's and it's frequently updated, so it's a tool that is staying current and uh, the people behind are all just really great. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video below or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We love to hear from you. As always, this is Scott and thanks for watching.